Hey everybody and welcome back to the Moto One US channel where today we are taking our first look at the all new 2022 Nissan Frontier. The first time in a long time that that truck is all new, so an exciting day. Joining me is MotoOne.com senior editor Brett Evans. What's going on my friend? Hey, how's it going boss? Why don't you tell people what is new with the Frontier because we have a lot going on with this truck. Well, so first things first, it looks really incredible. I think it's a very attractive piece of machinery. Um, they've done a completely new sheet metal from stem to stern. It's a much more bold and attractive design exterior wise. And a lot of those updates confer to the interior as well. Um, it is very capable. It's got that 3.8 liter V6 that came for the 2020 Frontier and we love that. Um, and then it's got a lot of technology, a lot of really cool standard and optional technology that's never before seen on a Frontier and actually kind of uh, sets sets the bar for the midsize segment as a whole, which is pretty cool. The midsize segment is uh, sort of neglected at times, right? Like we get a bunch of refreshed Tacomas, we get new additions of the Colorado, but very rarely do we see an all new truck. And the Frontier is probably the best example of that because this is a little truck that could. I mean, it kept pushing it and kept pushing it. And how long was the last generation around? It debuted in 2004 for the 2005 model year. So it is 17 years old by the time it's being replaced, which is incredible. And the only major update that it got in that time was that 3.8 liter V6 for the 2020 model year. Which we year. got last year. That's yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. Like, um, until then, it's been very kind of carryover control V kind of a thing. So Nissan is hell-bent on refreshing its lineup right now to its credit because it's been needed for a long time now. Uh, and like you said, this truck looks great. The images that everybody's seeing right now are the Pro 4X. Is that right? That's the yeah. trim level we're looking at. Uh, you were in on the presentation where they talked about it. Give us a little more detail about some of the styling elements on the truck. So uh, Nissan wants to kind of call back both other Nissan products and uh, the legendary Nissan hard body of the 80s and 90s. Um, I definitely think they succeeded in the former, uh, a little bit more skeptical on the latter. Um, as you can see, this front grille kind of incorporates a, a slight T motif, which is a very clear mm -hmm. callback to the Nissan Titan. Um, you also get that with the rear bed sides, um, got these kind of um, unusual like aerodynamic fender flares coming off of the rear wheel arches, which are just straight off of the Titan. You also get that kick down belt line near the near the mirror on the doors, um, which is a very Titan, you know, particular kind of design feature. And then around right. back, you get a stamp steel tailgate with a big frontier on the bottom. Again, huge callback to the Titan. Um, but that's, I mean, you park this thing next to a 2020 model and it is almost unrecognizable in what oh, they've completely. done to it. I like the red badging too. We see the new Nissan corporate logo, which is featured on all of their brand new products. Um, the red looks kind of sweet. I don't know if that's specific to the Pro 4X, but at least in this spec, I think it looks phenomenal. We kind of raised the point the other day when we first saw the pictures. The Frontier is a truck where a lot of people buy it in regular worker spec, of course. Like you're going to use this as a work truck. So how good is it going to look when it's not the completely kitted out version? We haven't seen uh, some of the lower trims just yet. Yeah, I mean, if you if you take those front headlights and maybe put halogens in them and uh, remove some of the, yeah. the, the gloss and the satin black accents, that's probably about what it's going to look like. I think it'll look okay. You know, it's probably not going to be nearly as interesting and butch as the Pro 4X that you see. Um, like right. you said, I love those orange, uh, those red orange accents as well. And that is a Pro 4X feature. You probably won't get that on the, uh, on the base or the um, okay. other trims. So I personally, I think the interior looks great. I think the red accents are very interesting and very cool. Um, I am going to say, if you if you look at some of the detailed pictures, which you can see on in our story um, mm -hmm. on MotorOne.com, um, it looks like they probably are using some pretty cheap plastics inside um, yeah. the the door panels in particular. Um, you definitely can tell a very a very similar shape to the outgoing Frontier, and that's actually because this current Frontier isn't completely all new. It uses the same basic cab and chassis structure as the outgoing vehicle. <laughs> of course, it does because it wouldn't be a Nissan. It wouldn't be it wouldn't be a frontier if it didn't carry over something, but um, but that's okay. You know, I think they, yeah. they probably did a pretty good job updating everything. But to that end, you can definitely see some kind of natty looking plastics. Um, we're not going to complain too much because the Colorado has them. the the uh, 
Tacoma definitely has them. The Ranger has them. Yeah, it's all across the segment. The headline here is a standard 8-inch and an optional 9-inch touchscreen display. And it comes standard now with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Yep. And I think that I think that eight inch. I need to I need to verify, but I'm pretty sure that standard display is the largest standard display on any truck in the market, whether you're looking at midsize or full size, which is definitely something to to commend yeah. Nissan for here. That's that's pretty impressive. I think the only one that might equal it is the Titan. So Nissan's got the corner market uh, the market cornered on on big standard touchscreens, which is great. It's a good looking, pretty simplistic, pretty clean cabin. And yet there's sort of enough going on uh, to make it exciting. So I'm I'm a big fan of this design overall, I have to say. That was without a doubt uh, what stood out to me. Uh, talk to us a little bit more about the powertrain. As you mentioned, it debuted on last year's truck, but we now have some specifics, including towing capacity. Yeah, so it's going to be a 3.8 liter V6. Uh, best in class, 310 horsepower um, mm -hmm. and 281 pound feet of torque. Definitely not best in class with that number, but it's it's good enough. I drove it in the 2020 Frontier, and it was it was great. It was a wonderful powertrain. Yeah. Lots of lots of grunt down low where you need it, and, and definitely a solid machine. Um, however, it, it kind of comes up short. Uh, 6,720 pounds for um, towing, and that's the absolute maximum. And uh, 1,600 pounds, 1,610 pounds for payload. Uh, both of those numbers are um, kind of near the bottom of the class when comparing maximum towing ratings. Um, mm -hmm. The Ranger and the um, the Ranger and the Tacoma can both haul more, um, and the all three of them, the Ranger, Tacoma, and Colorado, can tow more. So, you know, that's kind of a shame. But uh, for a, for a new truck, not to kind of claim that best in class rating, we've gotten used to whenever we hear a full size truck being revealed, it's always best in class, no matter what it is, it's always best in class, and so. Uh, it's kind of a bummer that the Frontier doesn't take that cake, but you know, I'll get over it. It's a great engine anyway. The nine-speed automatic is so much better than than the five-speed that it replaces, and so it's it's yeah. going to be a solid machine to drive. Seems like they're also stuffing in a 2022 appropriate amount of safety tech, which again is not necessarily a hallmark of this class of vehicles. So it's uh, things like uh, emergency autonomous braking system, blind spot mm -hmm. monitoring, uh, rear cross traffic alerts, some things that in a bigger vehicle you'd want to have. Yeah, it's kind of cool that they're giving it a standard um, forward collision warning, which is not mm -hmm. a feature that's that's on every um, midsize truck right now. And then available forward collision automatic braking, um, as well as um, you know uh, dynamic cruise control, which is a rare feature in the midsize class. I think the Tacoma and the Ranger offer it, but none of the others do. So that'll be pretty cool to, to have a full suite of um, you know Nissan 360 safety shield safety features on a, on a midsize truck. That'll definitely yeah. be a huge improvement. Final thoughts on how you think this is going to stack up against the competition. I'm not the one to ask because the outgoing frontier was actually one of my favorite midsize trucks on the market. I loved how simple it was. I loved that yeah. it was, it felt like an old truck, you know, just like simple and rough and, and ready to ready to kind of tackle a trail. And it was actually really, really good off road, even though it didn't have a fancy, you know, TRD Pro or ZR2 rivaling off-road package, the Pro 4X was a great, very well-balanced off-roader. So I honestly, I'm really excited for the, this new Frontier. I think it's going to carry on a lot of those same kind of like ruggedness and simplicity attributes of the old one while yeah. still offering some modern features. I, I'm really excited. I think it's going to do very well. Um, but I'm not the one to ask because I'm already kind of a Nissan stan on the, on the midsize truck market. It's a good thing. I'm with you. I always loved that truck, despite the fact that it was pretty much older than both you or me. Um, <laughs> Almost. Thank you, Brett Evans, for all of your knowledge on the new 2022 Frontier. Nissan also took the cover off the new Pathfinder today. Well, we don't have a first look video on that, but I will link the description uh, below the full story on MotorOne.com. Uh, Brett, I look forward to driving this thing at some point and be taking it off-road with you in the future. Uh, until then, thank you. Yeah, let's do it. Thanks for having me.